Hi, my name is Viv and I'm a graphic designer based in Berlin. Today, I'll be designing a bookmark using Affinity Publisher and Adobe InDesign to compare and contrast their key similarities and differences so you can determine which program would be best for your print media. I first will be taking a physical drawing that I made and then using the Wacom One and tablet, digitize it, then put it into each program and walk you through my workflow of placing text and getting the file print ready to be printed. Well, let's dive into it. So this is my setup currently with my 2020 MacBook Pro connected via USB-C to my Wacom One tablet. I'm currently traveling right now and this is probably one of the best, like most ideal setups for a very portable person like myself. Now, before we get right into it, just to give you some context, the bookmark combines a 2D illustration and a short poem written by my friend on the back side. As you can see from the original scan, I want to erase the paper lines and some of the mistakes I made while drawing in real time. I'll do that first by importing the file into Adobe Lightroom, which is the program I think has the best generative eraser tool for the job. In Lightroom, I am using a tool called Generative Remove. This is a new tool released by Adobe as of 2024, and I think it's just the best for cleanup jobs like this. I pair it with my Wacom One tablet to make it straight selections that easily remove lines. I'll go ahead and finish cleaning this up. So here's the scan cleaned up with all the lines and mistake marks. Now, I want to extend the background of this paper because I didn't do a very good job of cutting the physical paper by itself and I want more space in with the drawing. I extend the paper background of the scan using Adobe Photoshop. First, I select the space I want to fill, then I right click and select Content Aware Fill. Then, using the brush tool, I select the areas I want the tool to sample and fill in with more paper. Now let's put the drawing into Adobe InDesign. Although I'm calling this a bookmark, I am actually sizing my design to be the size of a standard postcard, four by six inches. As an avid reader, I prefer the size for my bookmarks instead of the traditional long and narrow bookmark format. And most printers will be able to print this size. I begin by setting up my document to the bookmark dimensions, four by six inches. It's important to add bleed-in margins. The standard for both bleed-in margins is 0.15 inches. Bleed means that you have to extend the background by 0.15 inches to make sure that the printers cut the print correctly. If you don't include bleed, there's a chance your prints could be cut with white borders around it. Margins are important to make sure that the text you lay out stays within the margins so that the printers can cut each page slightly off center if that's a problem and it won't cut off your text. Now, InDesign makes it very easy to customize layouts with its robust tools. Everything feels very professional and imprecise, which is great for larger and more complex documents. Now, I'm bringing in the 2D illustration. And designs handles imported files well, whether they're vector or, or raster images. It's easy to adjust the size and position without losing quality. Next, I'm adding in the poem. And designs typography tools are highly detailed. From character styles to advanced kerning, I have complete control over the appearance of the text. Now, when it comes pre to preparing for print, InDesign gives a lot of options for setting color profiles. For printing, CMYK is the color profile that you need to print in. The export options for PDFs are extensive and you can check for any kind of issues to make sure that your design is ready for professional printing. Now let's move on to Affinity Publisher. Setting up the document in Publisher is similar. You can adjust dimensions, margins, and guides easily. One thing I love about Affinity is the interface. It feels slightly more user-friendly for beginners with many tools clearly labeled. 
Bringing the illustration is simple here too. One advantage Publisher has is its studio link feature, which if you need to make adjustments to the illustration, you could jump directly into Affinity Design or, or Affinity Photo without leaving Publisher. Adding text is also fairly straightforward and Publisher has a good range of typography tools, although not as many as Vans options as InDesign. For simpler projects like this bookmark, it's perfectly adequate. I also do think that the UI of Affinity Publisher makes it a lot easier to control a certain few things. Um, for example, I love their color picker. I think it's a lot more intuitive than Adobe's. Affinity Publisher also offers print preparation tools, letting you set up your design in CMYK and export directly to print-ready PDFs. It doesn't have all the options that InDesign does, but for smaller scale print projects, the workflow is pretty smooth. And here are the finished products side by side. As you can see, I made pretty much identical results with both programs, which just goes to show the strength of both of these programs and how capable they are of doing this and so much more. Now let's go into a deeper comparison on each one. So how do these two programs compare when it comes to designing a bookmark? Let's break it down. Ease of use. InDesign has a steeper learning curve but is incredibly powerful once you master it. Publisher, on the other hand, feels more approachable and streamlined, perfect for someone looking to quickly create professional designs without a steep learning curve. Artwork and Vectors InDesign's vector handling is top-notch, but often requires jumping into Illustrator for detailed edits. Publisher's integrated approach with Studio Link lets you tweak vectors directly within the program, which can be a big time saver. Typography if you need a high-level text control for complex layouts, InDesign is the way to go. But for simpler, smaller-scale designs like a bookmark, Affinity Publisher's tools are more than capable. Preparing for print. InDesign excels with detailed checks and advanced export settings, making it ideal for professional print work. Publisher simplifies this process without sacrificing quality. So for most print projects, it'll get the job done without the extra steps. I would say for this specific project, both programs worked well. My technology has always suffered a little bit because of the amount of uh, intensity that the Adobe programs have put on my laptop, whereas the Affinity programs have never really had a problem. However, the Adobe tools did give me more robust and finesse features for my project, whereas the Affinity Designer ones, I mean, sorry, the Affinity Publisher ones, um, was just way more streamlined, easy to use. Yeah. So, which program is right for you? Well, if you're a professional designer that's collaborating with a lot of different people to make a large and complex project spanning multiple pages, say, more than 100 pages, then I would recommend Adobe InDesign, as that's just the industry standard. Now, if you're a freelancer working on smaller projects, which was what this bookmark was, and are looking for something that's more versatile and lighter weight to use on the laptop, then I would definitely recommend Affinity Publisher. Affinity Publisher is also way cheaper because you only buy the program once, and instead of subscribing to a model like the Adobe one where you have to do it every month, you just get you just get the program and that's it. That's pretty great. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. And if you've used either of these programs, I would love to see uh, your projects and kind of how you feel about each of them. Let, let me know. All right. Thank you.